Alright, this video right here is just going to be, because I'm about to go in the uh, library and upload all these videos and whatnot. I got a lot of stuff to do today. But um, I want to talk about a lot of things um, as far as like the NBA. Y'all know I love basketball. The Warriors playing great. Of course, like I said, they will go back and watch all my videos. Said that Kevin Durant was going to join the Warriors. They didn't listen to me. I said they was going to be better. They didn't listen to me. You know, pretty much everything I've been saying, they didn't listen to me. And everything that I said has been happening. Um, Steph Curry still playing great. You know, people make it seem like he's averaging 22, 23, still averaging 25, 26, and still having 30 point games. You know, Steph Curry is one of my favorite players in the NBA right now. I like Kevin Durant as well. And I like the way, you know, they like their attitude. Um, you know, it's crazy. You know, people pretty much eating their worst because they have been competitive games and people was like, oh, they ruined the NBA. Guys like Stephen A. Smith saying that they ruined the NBA, but yet they have a close games and they just still trying to figure things out. But pretty much they're going to blow out a lot of teams, you know, coming soon. But at the same time, it's going to be competitive and they're going to figure things out. The game I'm really waiting for is Christmas um, with Cleveland versus the Golden State Warriors. I think that Draymond Green gonna go off this game because he wanted so bad. He really like want to just annihilate LeBron and them every chance that he get. And I think that when they play them, it's just gonna be over unless the league do something to control it, you know, just to try to prevent that from happening, which I think they did in the finals. But that's neither here nor there. But like I said, I think that Draymond Green gonna play like an MVP. He gonna be at his best defensive, and I think he gonna go off. And the Warriors, a lot of players, what they don't realize is they have to stop caring what people think. Like, they just got to do stuff. Like, Kevin Durant played better when he don't care. Like, when he's mad, he plays better. I was watching a game with one of my friends, right? And I was telling him, I said, Kevin Durant, like, Anthony Davis was drawing that Kevin Durant. And they were starting, to, they were about to get into a fight. And Alex Agenza was getting into it. And I told him, I said, look, I said, you seen Kevin Durant, he was fired up when they played OKC. And he went off. Like, oh, he had like 46, 49 points or 39. He was somewhere up that ballpark. And he just went off. But he was just mad. He plays better when he's mad. LeBron plays better when he's mad. And you get him going, you get him talking. It's like Kobe, Kobe played. Kobe, Jordan, and Russell Westbrook play with that fearlessness. Like, they play with that I don't care attitude. They don't care what people think. And that's why they're able to carry their team. Well, Kobe and Jordan can do that. And the reason they do that is because they're fearless. Like, they don't care. They don't really care what people think. At the end of the day, I'm going to do what I want to do. This is my team. I don't care about nobody else's opinion. And when you feel like that, you don't be like, oh, I need to pass the ball up. Or I need to do this. No, you can't care what people think. You got to take those shots and, be, and, and just do what you want to do because you got to realize, like, you can't care what nobody thinks. You got to do what you want to do. Do what you feel. You know, make the right, right. If you feel like take like Steph Curry and all them, like you feel like when it's like two seconds left or three seconds left, take that shot and don't care that next morning they're going to be clowning you on ESPN or they're going to be trolling you. You can't care. Like, you got to take that shot whether you miss or make it. I mean, you, the more and more you don't care and you take a chance, the the more likely you are you're going to win because... You don't care whether it go in or not, but you going you want to prove that I can make this shot. So, like I said, like Kevin Durant was just starting to go off against the Pelicans last night because he he didn't care. <clears throat> and Steph Curry stepped up as well. So as long as they continue to step up and play hard, you know they could be uh, they're gonna be a great team. And I just love the chemistry. I love that. You know, I really think that Clay Thompson is gonna be. You know, the guy that's going to uh, kind of break the, the whole group up because he kind of is the only one to me that really has the ego. You know, the rest of them kind of put their ego to the side. And I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Maybe he don't say anything or maybe they saying something to him that fuel him to play, you know, to act like he, ha you know, have an ego and say things like, I'm not taking no, you know, I'm not, what do you say? I'm not stepping back for nobody. And, 
you know, I'm not limiting my shots for something like that, you know. It's like he, he's saying things, and it's like he's going to be the one that kind of mess up the group, but I don't want them to mess up something special. Like the Lakers was something special, you know, with Shaq and Kobe, and I would have loved to see them win a lot more rings, you know, together as a team than breaking up, you know, like a lot of – it would have been nice to see them get six or seven rings together, you know, and which I think they could have. If Shaq and, you know, they could have put their differences to the side. Dwight Howard and Kobe just wasn't going to work, you know, just wasn't. If you go back and watch everything that Nelly said about Kobe, looking at it now and seeing what Dwight Howard is with his career, Kobe was pretty much right. And the Lakers were smart for moving on. And you see how he acted when we beat him, when, we beat, when the Lakers beat him. You know, he started to cry like a little girl or whatever. But, you know, like I said, um, the Warriors are playing phenomenally right now. Um, Russell Westbrook is one of my favorite players. And, and people think when I critique him that I'm, you know, hating on him. But I like Russell Westbrook. I just think that in clutch moments, he makes a lot of bad decisions. A lot of bad, excuse me, a lot of bad decisions. He has a lot of shot attempts. And um, he's not that efficient. You know, LeBron is very efficient. And, and, and this is another thing when they compare Russell Westbrook and Steph Curry. People have to realize Steph Curry don't have a ball in his hands like Russell Westbrook does. West, Russell Westbrook had the ball in his hand for pretty much majority of the shot clock. All they do is come down up to like 16. They, he done wasted a lot of the time just dribbling the ball up the floor. You know, they don't push the ball up fast and, and use a lot of the shot, the time clock, you know, running plays and stuff. They don't really run plays in OKC. They just have like uh, Russell Westbrook bring the ball up, dribble the ball for like 15, 16 seconds. You know, <clears throat> set, you know they set a pick for him. And he passed the ball to Cantor on on a pick, you know, and it's just like I think that Russell Westbrook at this point in his career, his footwork should be way better, like his pivoting. You know, Kobe just wasn't a great player. He was a great all around player as far in terms of like his footwork and you know, his post game and his footwork was amazing. Like just I pay attention to little details and little nuances like that in the game. You know, I watch all the old school basketball. I go back in the days and still watch basketball. I'm a huge, you know, historian when it comes to, like, basketball and other things. But like I said, man, like, you know, they're always competitive. To, but Draymond Green bring the ball up for uh, Golden State. Kevin Durant bring the ball up. So Steph Curry don't have the ball in his hands like that. So he could get – he could easily average. He's, he's done it before average 9 to 10, 8 or 9 assists, even 10. But he just don't have the ball in his hand as much as he did, you know, when Mark Jackson was there. Um, Russell Westbrook, I, I just think he needs to step up his game in terms of, like, you know, making better decisions down the stretch and, you know, try his best to, um, you know, minimize his, uh, limit his chances, you know what I mean, uh, increase his chances of winning and get other people involved. If, you know, I'm going to look at the stats. If you're paying attention to the stats, <clears throat> A triple-double should be at the top of your list. I think that what should be at the top of his list is like, okay, I see that Roberson just hit two hit two out of three three-pointers. And he's efficient from mid-range. If he's, let's say he's 13 for, or he's, he's six for, six for nine from the field. All right, he's efficient, so we need to get him the ball. We need to try to get him the ball. If he's 50% from three, we need to try to get him the ball because he's hot right now and he's making shots. If he's not making shots, then that's when we need to go to somebody else. Go to Victor Oladipo. You know, I can get my shots last. I can get everything else last and we can win the game. You know, that's when you got to grow. You got to, you know, figure out how to do that. He's a great player, but like I said, he those a lot of mental mistakes. Um, but that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, if I feel as though like he has a lot of turnovers as well, I honestly think that if Steph Curry or Kevin Durant don't get the MVP, I think it should go to LeBron. You know, I don't think nobody, I don't think it's fair to give a player MVP with all those turnovers like that. Like you got to, and, and all the shot attempts, you got to look at the whole thing, and it, and it is just not right. You can't give somebody that. If that's the case, then Kobe should have been MVP years ago. You know. But like I said, man, click the subscribe button. I'm about to go upload these videos. I'm out. Y'all stay safe out there.